Hey, welcome to Minding Your Business with the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. I'm Chris Spiker, your host. And our first guest today is Mark Davey, a small business consultant out there in the Antelope Valley. And welcome, Mark. Thank you for inviting me. You bet. And you work with the schools. Right. I've been on the Career Preparatory Council for the Antelope Valley High School District since 2007. So, I don't know, so... You must be doing a great job. That's, <laughs> but they like can't get rid of me, I guess. 13 I years. How did you get involved with that uh, organization? Um, it was through uh, Dr. Steve Gokey. He's now the retired uh, Lancaster um, superintendent. And I uh, got me involved with that whole program. And, it, and it's a wonderful activity. It's, it's getting uh, the students involved uh, with careers. Um, and they could be technical, they could be four-year and so forth. But working with the... Uh, business area and I was past chamber chair uh, for Lancaster uh, Chamber of Commerce and so it was a, it was a good fit. So you know the val value of the Chamber of Commerce membership. Right? Oh definitely, definitely. It's where you're out there and you're actually participating in projects together and that's where you meet people and uh, make things happen. So, And, and having an opportunity to uh, help the students and maybe that bell goes off in their head and they see a career or something they want to do. Uh, that's very rewarding. That's amazing. Career preparatory. Council. Right. Council. So this is not a one-time deal you're done because we have a new crop of uh, great kids every year. Right. All right. the it's time. An ongoing um, uh, council. So uh, um, it's basically run by uh, uh, Betsy McKinstry and uh, Diane Walker. So we work together with them and then we have the the teachers are on board and we have a lot of local representatives on board on the board and our council and uh, so it's, it's a good opportunity to interact and, and make things happen because the youth is the center of the community that's that's our next generation and that's important and they have to fill all the slots that uh, that we've created right 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 so we've got some projects along the way we can talk about too and being involved in that organization uh, must be exciting because you've been doing it a long time. Yeah, I think there's a lot of, uh, uh, like I say, rewarding ideas and so forth and uh, um, seeing those kids that uh, some of them, their lives really turn around with a career and uh, that's that's just wonderful to see and everybody enjoys that. Everybody enjoys that story whether it's a city council person or a board member um, and uh, they can find an opportunity somewhere, hopefully they can stay in the area, and all of that benefits uh, um, everyone who lives here, uh, career trained um, students and so forth, that helps the community, helps attract more business to come here, um, gets people involved so the kids hang around with the right group and uh, they, they have other alternatives which may not be productive and they can get in the right group of people and uh, um, find a career they want to do because as you know if, you, if you're stuck in a career for 30 years and you didn't like it that's that's not what we want right <laughs> ouch yeah, you got to be happy it, it's a good thing you got to enjoy thing. doing what you're doing yeah i think if you help people you live longer i don't know i don't know how much longer maybe it's 10 minutes or so but <laughs> it's, it's a good thing yeah well so you're having fun too yeah yeah that's part of it i guess that's the selfish part <laughs> I don't think that, and you're a volunteer. Volunteer, I mean, that's it, yes. Yeah. So, so the pay is pretty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and you, so you know about the value of the chamber member. How did you get involved in the Chamber of Commerce? Do you remember Cecil Swellin? And, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. At and Desert so, Christian. Yes, and um, I joined the Rotary Group and um, I got involved with the Chamber of Commerce and uh, he helped me all in all the different areas. Uh, Cecil got me on the radio show, show right away. It's uh, uh, just a, a great person. So then you can see the value of interacting with people. That's that's the real thing. You're out there at five in the morning parking cars for the flea market or whatever you're doing. That, yeah. And it's cool. <laughs> yeah. So your friends, your so-called friends, get you involved in all get you involved in all kinds of different activities. Mm -hmm. We have, and it's been it's been a lot of fun and and. Uh, you know, you see people in all different walks of life and you're helping them with different projects. And like I say, I think that's when you really get to know people. If you're, yeah. out, there, if you're out there doing whatever. <laughs> and in the meantime, you still have your consulting business. Right, right. So uh, um, a small business oriented. And that's helped me meet um, some of the people that we'll be talking about here a little bit too. So, And I, I'm a certified car nut, that's for sure. So I do a lot of things with cars in the automotive area. 
and collectors and so forth, and a lot of those people are involved in different walks of life, and that's been a good thing, too. Did you see Aaron's ears perk up when you yeah, mentioned car. cars? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a car guy. <laughs> he's a car guy. So let's talk about cars. Let's talk about cars. Okay. Well, I got involved with uh, my, my, I bought my son a car for $400 when he was 14 years old. And he and I restored that. It was a Datsun, uh, 73 Datsun, and we put that together and we got it running. And I started meeting a lot of people through that, through those cars. And I, I ran a car corral at Monterey Historics for five years. And I met the original builders and racers. And a lot of those came from Shelby's uh, team. So I met a lot of the original Shelby people. I met uh, Shelby's first employee, and with the movie coming out, I met a lot of those people in real life. So that was really kind of exciting. So and I kept involved in uh, various areas of vintage cars, and um, then I got on the Packard um, board, and we do a lot of promotions with that. And uh, Jay Leno has four Packards, and I met other people through the uh, Vintage Racing, uh, Vintage Auto Racing Group, VARA. Um, and uh, that one thing led to another. And so up here, I was able to, when the um, Palmdale Solar Car came out, <clears throat> I was able to get the students uh, to have a tour of Jay Leno's garage, which wow. was, they really enjoyed that. And they had a chance to talk to Jay about the whole project, and uh, that was exciting. And then when they got the car running, we uh, were able to get Jay up here. If you type in, uh, YouTube on uh, Palmdale Solar Car Leno, you'll see the uh, recording of Jay Leno's personal appearance driving the car. So that was everybody got a real thrill out of that. So yeah. that was fun. So, so you're that. letting the kids have a, a view of the bigger picture. Yes, because um, it's not only um, what Jay has. He has about 130 cars and 120 motorcycles, but he belongs to a huge network, and he's very interested in promoting the trades. He has a scholarship for McPherson, a uh, four-year degree for auto restoration, and uh, he promotes it along with his staff. So that kind of comes up to another thing we're talking about here, but giving uh, students an opportunity to, to look at all types of careers there, um, he's very much for it. So he had a very interesting experience in himself in that he was dyslexic and uh, had a really tough time in school. And it got to a point in high school where they had a meeting with the counselor and the counselor said, you know, Jay, um, school's just not for you. Why don't you drop out? And he had another teacher that said, you know, <laughs> yeah. And Jay was right there. He says, Jay, Jay said, I was right there with my mom. I was like, it wasn't another room. He just told me, you're a loser. So <laughs> so, so basically, he, and he had another teacher that said, you tell funny jokes. Why don't you write those down? Well, that changed his whole life. And he went on to get a degree in speech therapy. And while he was going to college, guess what he did? part-time he worked as a stand-up comedy uh, comedy yeah. person and that's how he worked his way through the ranks so in terms of education he has a soft spot for those of being encouraging because that's something that he found that really yeah. helped him and now so, he's got to pay it back it's what he's doing yeah that's exactly what he's doing you hit the nail on the head you're good <laughs> ah, the value of teachers I think very powerful yes yes be effective teachers yes and, and most of them can make us a few of them break us because they're human and he was able to uh, persevere and, uh, and and make it all happen. So, uh, very interesting fellow, very interesting fellow. And we have a connection to Jay Leno in the Antelope Valley. Yes, we do. Jay's staff is very personable. He's got about six people down there, and uh, they do all the um, restoration and so forth. Um, I was able to take the um, Desert Winds principal and uh, lead automotive instructor, that's Laura uh, Ferguson, and the lead automotive instructor is um, Dave Otis down there to Jay's Garage and meet Bernard, who's the general manager. He's the brains that makes everything work down there. <laughs> and uh, he is, they were able to talk to him and he's making a personal visit to Desert Winds High School. We're not sure exactly when, but it's a true honor for them to come and, yeah. and have him talk to the students about careers in automotive and for him to make a special trip here, he just doesn't do that. And we're very honored to uh, to have him come here. Well, Aaron and I would like to tag along and maybe shoot a little A.B. Nice video. No problem. <laughs> and I'm sure all, everybody's out there, the fundraisers right now, oh, we need to call Mark Davey and, you know, have him <laughs> help us and have him help us and blah, blah, blah. So, so we're, we're, we're doing what we can. And yeah. um, I think it's a, it really should um, help the students understand what uh, some of the mechanics, and he's very knowledgeable and 
um, of CDC uh, machines and jet um, water jet uh, cutters and 3D printers and all that kind of stuff. So he'll he'll give some knowledge to that. So uh, um, it's very exciting that he's doing this, and and he's going to bring his uh, Formula One sidecar, which he's a national champion, and races that. That does 170 miles an hour. Wow. And uh, the rear... We could clear the boulevard. Yeah. <laughs> well, that would be pretty cool. That's yeah. pretty bad. So, anyway. So, uh, we're very happy to have him come, and uh, we'll be getting pictures and so forth for the students. But it's all it's all part of the students giving them um, an opportunity for maybe a career they wouldn't have thought of otherwise. You know? No no idea that that career was there, and here's, here's a way for them to have a leg up. Yes, and he has a lot of connections, and he'll be talking about that. We're also working with the, uh, we'll be meeting with the college and so forth, so uh, promoting automotive careers and technical um, careers. So we're doing a lot. A lot's going to come up. So it's, I feel like yeah. I'm sitting here with Carol Shelby, <laughs> you know, a big yeah. car guy, Mark Davy. You're, yeah. you're out, you're out there, and you're helping, and you're involved, and uh, I'm a big car fan, so big car fan, yeah. and and finding kids and plugging them into the right vocation to make their lives uh, successful. Yes. Those automotive careers can pay very well, and uh, they can help a lot of kids. Like I say, point them in the right direction too. So it's a good, it's a good thing. So we're working with the dealers on several programs just to do that. It's exciting. It is exciting. If somebody wanted to find you, where where would they find you? Or um, do you want to be found? <laughs> well, I'm on the um, Career Preparatory Council, and that um, is always uh, directed through the um, Betsy McKinstry and Diane Walker, and that goes through the um, AVHSD um, website. Call so, the office. Yep. We'll be there. Been talking with Mark Davies, and uh, we'll be right back. Thank you.